us on YouTube, Brad Mans here. Welcome back to more Star Wars Squadrons. I'm going to be carrying another story for today. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to put it back up now, is there? <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll just do games in hard mode, but I tried it and it was quite difficult on that one bit, so tried to think what it's going to be like in the rest of the story mode, but that bit's hard on the ice mode. Vanguard Squadron to Temperance, do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. <laughs> I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why I effective immediately. We have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys risk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. They? Mm-hmm. <laughs> said to expect you. I'm Zoro the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Well, I was trying to walk there. Ah, you arrived. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard 5. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental System's borders. 
The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cabus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. Oh, hey! I'm Keo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. Hello. Grace Salia Vitara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes, unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to Stardust. <laughs> I trust you will too. See you out there. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squad, Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cabus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial. Well, knowing the Empire, they'll have TIE Squadron. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Uh, hang on. Nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name. And only when she's mad. I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or er, New Republic, or whatever we are now. <coughs> I used to be in what you might call acquisitions. You know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? Huh? Or that the Imperial Governor was gonna show it off to Admiral Thrawn? That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Death mark or not. But say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh... Go a few rounds, huh? For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. Okay. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. 
It's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. Attention. Get to your ship. All munitions must be locked and accounted for before launch. You ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. A mission already? Good. I'm not one for waiting around. Got an X-Wing ready for you here. A real beauty if you need... Sorry. The droid's giving me the eye. Little rust buckets are always planning something, right? I was gonna say, if you need anything for that shiny starfighter of yours, just come to me, all right? I'll see you fixed up. We should run a pre-flight check on your X-Wing. Climb into the cockpit when you're ready. What's going on then? The X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our new Republic. A good all-rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. Systems. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. Oh, I don't know. Quiet, Tin Can. We got a pre flight check to do. Radar. Working like a dream. That's the call, watch your teacher. Load out data. Looking good. Combat display? Check. Primary weapons, charged up. Ready to take down ties. Throttle and boost? Good to go. Hull integrity? Never better. You're welcome. All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Thank you. I'm not an idiot. Launch is going. Well, that's a repair droid. Form up on me. Sickle heads. Push your miss. Oh, Stay close, Vanguard 5. Uh, stand up as I can. Press wait. Find the scouts, smash the jamming ships. And get back before the cantina closes. I think Commander James skipped that in the briefing. Thanks, Ardo. We'll be careful. Cabis once you find our missing pilots, all right? See you soon. Good luck, you two. Our jump point's just ahead. Hyperspace coordinates calculated. Engines are hot. Let's do this, Vanguard Squadron. <laughs> Vanguard Squadron. <laughs> this never gets old, eh, hey, Grace? Never. I was thinking I've played, played Vanguard quite a lot. <laughs> Vanguard Squadron, let's go. Scouts showing on sensors. You got anything, Grace? Negative. We've got. I didn't know I could do that. Ah, oh, sweet. Be able to find someone out here. Wait. 
I've got a Republic signal. Temperance, we may have found them. Heavy interference. Gunny and Kia will take care of that shortly. We should investigate the signal and regroup with them. I hope the scouts are all right. Me too, Grace. Me too. That look on our life over here. What's up there? There's our target. Let's slow it down. Scouts didn't make it. Empire must have found him first. If that's the case, where is the Empire? Vanguard 5, scan the debris. I know it's macabre, but we need you to lock onto the wreck and get close. Get the wreck and close in. We can't let our allies die in vain. Oh. Let's hold it for some reason. Such brutality. Even their astromech got dusted. Someone really didn't want these scouts getting home. Hey. I'm picking up a second signal. Let's check it out. Follow me. I don't like this, Grace. I hear you. Something's not right. If we're lucky, nice. something survived the attack. Stay ready for anything. Wait, that's not a new Republic signal. It's Imperial. Frisk, 
bomb those jamming ships. Sure thing, Grace. I'll suffer them up. You two finish him off. You can evade the missile by making the shovel shots in a different direction. Direct power to engines and set your throttle. I'll ask you to make it this easier. Do it. Good work, everyone. Stupid Empire. Try to invade our territory, will ya? Gunny, do you read me? We just cut off two jamming ships en route to your location. What's the situation? Gunny and Keo are in trouble. We need to help them now. Head toward Cavus. Let's move, Vanguard 5. When need you can request a supply drive from the support staff fighter. The supply drive will temporarily attach to your ship, repairing your hull and restocking your armaments. Oh, sweet! That'll patch up your hull and stock up your ordnance. 
coordinates. Thank you. Follow me. I'm with you. Vanguard, we have an Imperial cruiser protecting the last of the jammers. Taking down these ships ain't gonna be easy. Not while the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's our play? If we take out the jammers first, we can call the Temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Cubby. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. Definitely. Here we go. Get the bearings. Accomplished. Communications are restored across the sector. I knew you'd work well together. I'm grateful to command such a strong squadron. Come on back to the Temperance. Thank you, Commander Chase. We'll celebrate a job well done at the cantina. Come on, Vanguard, let's get out of here. Is it an emission? Okay.
I have a lot of bad middles, it just seems like things that I don't know. I mean, 16 minutes or less, fuck, I have a lot of that. All things I'm not really bothered about, as long as they're in my slow mode, so alright. Alright, continue. I quite like the game actually, to be fair. I'm going to be sort of old play. It's alright. I'm going to call you R2D2. Hey boy. <laughs> The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, Jesse? it's flying out there. Thank you. Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Keo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins? No, wait! Delon Vuk! Yeah, that's it! Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Black competition. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Commander's waiting. So where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE Fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire, too, at Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. 
Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. The Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know... A wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Why do I need that, that Destroyer? That's a question. Why do I need it? What's, it, what's his top political project they're talking about? So, we're headed to Yavin. In exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. But they can be beaten. If you're good. And lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. Oh. Commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. There's a wolf. Do have a squad target, use them to save enemy missile up while leaving them adrift. Easy targets for your wingmates. My weapon is also a perfect tool for stripping enemy shields and disturbing some systems without it. Oh, sweet, okay. Oh, sweet, okay. Sharp. 
Oh, sugar. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, cool. Focus your shield towards the front or back of your ship to maximize protection over on one side, leaving the other side exposed. You can also branch your shield so you can protect the front and back of the ship. Right, I hold square to open the shield, focus selector. Front. Thanks. Ah. No, 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 no. Oh, what are you doing? I didn't mean to do that. What the hell? Breach that breach point. 
took them out. Yes, where is he? you Okay, which way are you going then? Tell us why that is. Still learning in this game. <laughs> to so open the target on wall. So it's all the enemies. Ah. Oh shit. Shirts. Yep. You're good now. 
Ok. Ah ouais. Bearings again. I'm trying to get that. We're wearing the carrier down. Keep at it. There's something behind you. Heck yeah. I love this job. Mm -hmm. They got me. Almost there, Got it. My squad. They all follow me. Sweet. I just noticed they're following me. I just noticed that. Right, where's Wedge? We're almost through those blast doors. We've got another Imperial carrier. Make that three carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in. Taking control now. <laughs> Don't know, bro. You can take it from here, back Sweet, yeah. I'll escort Talos Group to Safe Harbor. Great one. Oh. Oh. Be Wedge, Tired today, actually. I just feel drained. Kept have breaking up a bit of an hour or so last night. <laughs> little, little bit of buffer, right? Oh, man. Additional Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. You know, back home after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for the Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be faffing around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next.
Now that was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star actually. Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin. We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for, the good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. I hope I would sleep better tonight, man, not wake up every hour. No more flights. Would be nice. <sighs> Too old boy, bitch, you can call it. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen. All I can tell you is the basics. Lander, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. <coughs> we have an emergency. <coughs> the Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. This GTA is fucking spaceship. <laughs> this is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosnian Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nan Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a Skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before, but they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway. We should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. Sort of flying this time, okay. Yeah. 
What the hell? What kind of space is that? A wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. Alright, I pack it, put up my soul, see what I have, so if I can, then. sweet. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. As it is, what's this? I'll call it. I'm getting tired. I'll probably just sit and watch a movie or something. <sighs> Trouble. Vanguard, good to see you again. Think you can keep those bombers off us? We're on it, Victorum. Sit tight. Five, intercept those tie bombers. We need to buy our crew some time. Brisk and I will handle the rest of the starfighters. Oh. Can't do. Their ion weapons knocked out our systems. We were defenseless until you arrived. Understood. We'll put an end to their bomb attacks. Don't let them hit you with the Oh, shit up. Yeah, you'll lose your controls, or worse. Try was order an attack. Your mates will focus that target until it's destroyed. And do mean never mind. Might be called for a beast player at any time the squad will break off their attack and they send it to you. Okay. Shuttles! 
knocked you down. Squad to defend your allies. Target a friendly ship or structure and tap triangle to issue defend order. Okay, cool. Drift. You want to learn right now? Uh, 
I'll watch five figure it out first. <coughs> okay, follow me. Let's drift, okay, cool. I learned this racing in the Koshi Star Circuit. First, transfer all power to your engines and fly as fast as you can. Yes, well done, now we're gonna buzz the bridge of the Victorum. Be ready to boost. Meant to be protect protecting the ship. I won't fucking learn to drift. Boost is ready. Punch it. When you're ready, turn as hard as you can, then hold the booster to cut your engines. Right, turn hard and then hold it. I'll create a drift. Okay. Wait. Classified. Just send you the coordinates. Got him. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Uh, what? The hyperdrive failed again. No. Ah. Uh. Three, four. Well, we gotta get there now. I don't know what happened. Everything was fine, and then our systems just shut down. Sounds like your Marvi nullifier is blocked. Run a system flush, then restart. It should be fine. More Imperial ships. They really want their Star Destroyer back. No, they're here to destroy it. Can you hold them off a little longer? Take on this far just to leave you hanging. It's now or never, Vanguard. Protect the Victorum. Last that, Vanguard. Yeah. I'm stuck. I've had about enough of these bombers. My god, I am actually stuck. I'm not. Oh, oh. Alright, Longer than I'd like. 
shields. Shit, then. Shit flying there, <laughs> but he's not done it in the end, so all oh, good. This is where the boss keeps his secret project. Who'd want to get this close to the Ringali Nebula? I believe that is the idea. Now that is 
a battleship. That's why we've been gathering Imperial ships. To build this. We call it the Starhawk, and it's going to help us end this war. General Syndulla. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I'd give you the tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. Sweet. I think that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please do subscribe to the boat and hit the location bell. I'm gonna go and chill now for a bit because I'm getting really tired. I think I'm watching a movie or something. I don't know what you want to watch, but I'm gonna watch a movie. I might actually just watch some like last summer or something. I sat and watched uh, The Last Kingdom last night and I quite enjoyed that. I haven't seen it for a while, so thinking something like that. Maybe hell, maybe even Lord of the Rings or something. I'm not gonna play Call of Duty today, I'm gonna take a day off. Played a bit this morning but a bit tired, lost a couple of nukes, a bit tired, came in here. But I've been watching movies, I think I have a chill day, I think, today. So anyway guys, take care, peace out. Enjoy your day. Thanks again.